Hi, I'm Christina. And I'm Victoria. And welcome back to another episode of the New Bedford Whaling Museum's Creature Feature, the weekly whaling museum series that explores marine creatures, their interesting features, and how we can help our underwater friends. And this week, we have another special feature for you. That's right. Has anyone ever heard of the Kraken? Or thought they spotted this creature deep in the ocean? Have you seen or read about this creature in movies or books? Well, the myth of the Kraken dates all the way back to an Icelandic story from the 13th century, over 800 years ago. That is a really long time ago. And as the story goes, there were two sea monsters lurking in the Atlantic Ocean. The Kraken was the largest. It would open its mouth so wide and go from shore to shore, luring fish, fishermen, unknowingly until its wide open mouth. <gasps> Once the Kraken's mouth was full of fish, ships, fishermen, the Kraken would snap its mouth shut, swallowing everything whole. Superstitious sailors even believed that a plentiful catch must have meant they had dared to enter into the Kraken's mouth. Sailors believed it was worth the risk, even with the fear of the Kraken grabbing the largest ships with its tentacles, spikes, and sharp teeth, and dragging it deep into the bottom of the ocean. Today, you can still see the Kraken depicted in books like Moby Dick, and movies like The Clash of the Titans and Pirates of the Caribbean. Release the Kraken! Well, today, we know that the sailors and fishermen were not seeing the Kraken but most likely identifying one of two really large species, colossal and giant squid. Even today, these enormous squid continue to be elusive as they live deep in the ocean. Giant squid are the longest invertebrates, or animals without backbones, measuring over 40 feet long and weighing over 600 pounds. Colossal squid reach a similar length, but tend to be heavier. That's amazing! But did you know that like all squid, both species have eight arms and two tentacles? Giant squid have the longest tentacles of any squid species. The clubs at the end are covered in suckers that have small, sharp teeth around the edges. Captured sperm whales have been known to have scars left behind by encounters with these squid in their sharp tentacles. The colossal squid even has the biggest eye in the animal kingdom, and possibly the biggest eye to ever exist. Wow, that's amazing. Well, here in New England, squid are fished year round and are a smart seafood choice because it is sustainably managed, responsibly harvested, and regulated. The long fin squid caught in New England are caught using fishing gear that minimizes impacts to the sea floor and reduces bycatch, or those species that we catch by accident. To help other fish in our ocean catch up, there's many things we can do. We can create fishing rules and regulations to ensure we are not overfishing a species. We can use appropriate gear to reduce bycatch, and we can eat local or underloved fish that are just as delicious, but not as popular. A great way to help out is to get to know your local fishermen or ask your local seafood market to sell overlooked species like black sea bass, Jonah crabs, scup, and Acadian redfish. Thank you. To learn more about squid and what we can do to create more sustainable fisheries, sign up to join the New Bedford Whaling Museum's Squid Dissection this Wednesday at 11 a.m. Make sure to sign up soon as space is limited. Signups are available on the museum's website. We look forward to seeing you there and learning more together. And as always, we look forward to seeing everyone next week for another Creature Feature.